Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I want to ask the question, and answer the asked question, of whether or not Oblivion Gates are worth raiding in Oblivion. It's always a question I ask myself all the time. So what do you get out of Oblivion Gates? Well, think of it as loot on steroids plus a sigil stone. You find so much good stuff in Oblivion Gates. You find so much good gear, and then at the very end of it, you get a sigil stone, which allows you, it has preset enchantments and it allows you to enchant something, piece of equipment of your choosing. It usually has one combat enchantment and one passive enchantment, so if you give it armor or a weapon, and they usually are related to each other. So like, for instance, a fortify health or a damage health enchantment. You know, shield, or I think shield's opposite is disintegrate armor, something like that. Sometimes there's two abilities. You never know with these things. So is it worth it? Okay. This, I find, changes throughout your levels. In the beginning, it's totally worth it. You find the good gear. You find good gear to sell. If you find an enchantment that sucks, you just put it on a piece of clothing, sell it. So much money allows you to set up and get the gear that you want. Mid-tier is an eh for me, okay? Mid-level, you don't really need that enchanted gear. Usually mid-level, you have enough money to deal with the Mage's Guild enchantments and you have enough soul gems to where you can make your own custom enchantments and you don't really need money. Because mid-level, I mean, already mid-level, you're finding enchanted things in non-Oblivion Gate places and you're finding better gear, right? It's not just steel or iron anymore. It's things like dwarven armor, right? Dwarven armor is expensive. Elven armor is expensive. You might even be finding glass. Glass is expensive. Holy crap. And at mid-level, there's a bunch of quests that you've already completed that have given you valuable items, right? That, it's like, what's the point? You get the valuable items anyway. So, Oblivion Gate rating really, to me, is not worth it mid-level. High level is where it bumps back up to valuable. Things like the Mirror Shield spawn in Oblivion Gates. If you are going after the most valuable random loot in the game, Oblivion Gates are the best place to find them. Okay, now, I have found, for some reason the game loves giving me the Mirror Shield. I found like three of them in one game one time. I found them in Oblivion Gates. I found them in a bandit using a two-handed weapon. Don't know why. But Oblivion Gates, they give you access to the best gear in the game. The best enchanted gear. Okay, In an Oblivion Gate, so I had a, a character where I was trying to get a good blade meta. So I had Umbra for the Soul Trap, but I wanted a better damage weapon. So I found a, a Diedrich Claymore that did 20 or 25 frost damage inside of an Oblivion Gate. So, for the best tier equipment that you really can't custom make because of how good it is, or maybe it's too expensive, whatever, that's the Oblivion Gates. Mid tier, no, but high tier and low tier, that is when you want to raid Oblivion Gates because of the gear they give you. Low, low level, it sets you up to be really good with some best, from some really good gear. Okay, mid levels, eh, high level, you get the best possible gear that can drop in the game. And that's really where the money is. Plus, high level, you get all the cool um, alchemy ingredients, right? From the Diedrich Spider ladies, the Diedrich Hearts, Scamp. If Scamp spawn, you get Scamp skin, you get Clan Fair Claws, Atronox. You get all the different salts you can get. So that's what I think of raiding Oblivion Gates. Low level, high level is the way to go. Mid level, not so much. I would love to know what you think in the comments below, though. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.